Okay, now I'm going to give you an exercise just to check whether you know the different uh, comparisons of adjectives. Okay, I'm going to give you 10 sentences and you're going to pick out the adjective and say whether they are positive, comparative or superlative. Okay, shall we do that? Take out your notebooks and get ready. This test will carry 10 marks, okay? Pick out the adjectives. And state the degree of comparison. Okay, now the first one. The poor woman had seen happier days. Okay, read properly and underline the correct adjective. Next one. A life as, that is it's a problem, okay. A life as uh, is stronger than a A dead lion. Okay, next one. That child has a slight cold. Next one, Solomon was one of the wisest men in the world. Okay, fifth one. I promise you a fair chance. Sixth one. Ravi is uh, older than Selvi. Next one. I Congratulated him.
hem Next one, no news is good news. Ninth one. The Himalayas is the tallest or we can say it's the highest mountain range. Range in India. Okay, the last one. Pen is mightier. Than the sword. Okay, I've given you 10 sentences, and in all the 10 sentences, we have adjectives in different degrees of comparison. Okay, now you have to underline the adjective and you have to state what degree it belongs to. Okay, shall we see? Check it up now. Okay, have you checked all the sentences? Shall we work it out? We have given you 10 marks. Now you have to underline the adjective and check uh, whether it belongs to positive degree or comparative degree or superlative degree. Okay, have you finished? Now I am going to check it up. Let's see how much you get. I'll give you a star. The poor woman had seen happier days. Happier is an adjective. Okay. E-R. Happier. H-A-P-P-Y. Y has become I-E-R. What degree is it? It is comparative. Happy, happier, happiest. Okay. A live ass is stronger than a dead lion. An ass is of uh, not much use. It's a very insignificant animal. But well, compared to a dead lion, even a live ass is more useful. Okay. Now stronger. Stronger is a adjective. Now er. So, it is a comparative degree. Comparative degree. Next one. That child has a slight cold. Slight cold. There is no ER. There is no more or most. Or uh, there is no EST. So what degree? This is the adjective. What degree is it? It is positive degree. Okay. Slight. Slighter. Slightest. So it is positive. Next one. 
Solomon was one of the wisest men in the world. Wisest, E-S-T. So, what degree is it? It is superlative degree. And always remember, before the superlative degree, you have the, uh, let, the word the, T-H-E, the, before the superlative degree. This is called the article or determiner, the wisest, the uh, the ugliest, the longest, okay. So, this is superlative degree. Is that clear? I promise you a fair chance, fair. Fair means very just, okay, very reasonable, just. Not the fair and lovely fair. Okay. So, I promise you a fair chance. It doesn't have ER or EST. So, it is positive degree. Fair, fairer, fairest. Okay. Next one. Ravi is older than Selvi. Older. ER. So, it is comparative. Old, older, oldest. I congratulated him on his successful attempt. What sort of attempt? Successful attempt. More successful, most successful. Successful more successful, most successful. So, this is positive degree. No news is good news. Good is the adjective. Good, better, best. It comes under the irregular comparison and good is a positive degree. The Himalayas is the highest mountain range in India. Okay, the highest. You see, EST, you already know it is superlative degree. And before a superlative degree, you always have the, the word the or the article the. So, what is this? Superlative. Next one, pen is mightier than the sword, okay, that is rather than fighting a battle or uh, fighting with your enemy, if you just write about them and publish, it, it will have more effect. So, pen is mightier than the sword. See, the press people, if they publish some article, that has more public appeal than going and taking a uh, st stick or a sword and fighting with your enemy. So, mightier, mighty, mightier, mightiest. So, what degree is it? This is comparative. Okay, now check it up whether you have 10 full marks Happier is comparative, stronger is comparative, slight is positive, wisest is superlative, fair chance, fair is positive, older is comparative, successful is positive, good is positive, highest is superlative and mightier is comparative. Have you got 10 full marks? Very good. I will give you 10 on 10. Where shall I write the marks? 10 on 10. Be good. Shall I give you a star? Okay. Very good. Keep it up. 
Okay, now we are going to do interchanging of degrees of comparison. I will teach you how to do it and then I will give you a short test. Okay. Interchange. Okay, now what do you mean that is they may give you as interchanging or also as transformation of sentences. Okay, now if I am going to give you one positive degree and then I am going to uh, tell you how to change it to comparative uh, degree and superlative degree without changing the meaning. Okay, we will go this way superlative. Okay. Um. Okay, the river Nile is the longest river in Egypt, the longest. Now what degree is it? Superlative, isn't it? Now how do you change this into comparative? It is the longest river that is no other uh, um, river is as long as this river in Egypt. That will be the positive. So now uh, we will change it to uh, comparative. The river Nile is longer than any other river in Egypt. Okay, now just see both have the same meaning. Without changing the meaning, I change the superlative into comparative. So what is this? The longer Comparative. Now again without changing the meaning we are going to do it into positive degree. No other river is as long as river Nile in Egypt. So this will be positive. Okay. So see longer, uh, longest, longer, long, long, longer, longest. So positive, comparative, superlative. It's because the river Nile is the longest river in Egypt. You use this format. If I say uh, river Nile is one of the longest rivers in the world, then how will you change it? This is a second pattern. Shri Kumar 
is one of the tallest boys in the class. Okay, the tallest. He is one of the tallest. I am not telling he is the tallest boy. He is one of the tallest. So, this is superlative and let us see how to transform it. Okay. So, I will just change it to comparative. Shri Kumar is taller than many other. I am not using any other. Any other we use only when it is the tallest or it is the longest. But here one of the, if we have in the superlative degree, then we use many other. So this will be comparative. Okay, now we are going to do it in positive degree. Okay, so uh, here we use no other. So I am just going to say um, Sri Kumar is as tall as many other boys in the class. Okay, or I can even say uh, many other boys are not as tall as Sri Kumar. in the class so what is this positive positive degree okay so check it up I have given you two different ways of changing now when you have uh, a lot of boys or a lot of rivers to be compared, you use all the three. If there are only two people, okay, for example, Shiva is cleverer than Sam. Okay, here cleverer is comparative. Here only two people are being compared. Okay, only two people Shiva and Sa. So we cannot have a superlative degree. We can't say now Shiva is cleverer than Sam. So, only two people are compared. So, Sam is not as clever as Shiva. Okay. So, when we compare only two people, we need not use a superlative degree. So, Sam is not so clever as Shiva. This is positive degree.
So I have taught you three different ways of interchanging degrees of comparison without changing the meaning and now check it out. The river Nile is the longest river in Egypt. The longest is a superlative degree and uh, without changing the meaning we are changing it to comparative degree. The river Nile is longer than any other river in Egypt. So that is comparative. No other river as, is as long as river Nile in Egypt. This is positive degree. Okay, now this is the second pattern. Sri Kumar is one of the tallest boys in the class and the tallest uh, superlative degree. Sri Kumar is taller than many other boys in the class. Here you should not use any other. Uh, the, for this pattern, one of the, if you have, you have to write many other boys in the class, comparative. Many other boys are as tall as Sri Kumar, okay, or most other. You can use many other or most other boys, okay. I'll just write here most other boys or many other boys are as tall as Sri Kumar. Okay, and this is the third pattern where we have only comparison between two people. Okay, Shiva is cleverer than Sam, comparative cleverer and Sam is not as clever as Shiva, that is positive. So, cleverer and clever. Is that clear? Now, you have learned how to interchange uh, superlative to comparative, comparative to positive. And this will be very useful for your higher classes also. So we'll uh, uh, do more revision after we complete the whole lot of grammar portion. As we are doing high school grammar, I just taught you the basics here and uh, also I've given you exercises. But after the completion of the whole lot of exercises, I'm going to give you another test paper. Okay.